Ron Hornaday is probably the world's greatest on restarts. Man, he's getting off and close that wall. How about Bush, Marty? What's he saying? BP, I noticed you and Wally have been kind of concerned about the research for Kyle Bush. And actually, he and Crew Chief Lance McGrew met this morning, and he told him to back off on the restarts on purpose. He didn't want him running into anyone, just like we just saw on that restart right there when Ron Hornaday hit the 21 car. Just to be careful on these restarts, don't knock out the front end of the car early and take yourself out of the race. That's a very good idea. And for second place, Kyle Bush with a little look to the inside of Ron Hornaday. I think right now the Kyle Bush in the five car is a little bit faster than Hornaday. And that adjustment Hornaday made when he brushed the wall might have been the cause and effect of why the five car is a little bit better right now. Davis, Hornaday said anything? Actually, he doesn't think that contact had much to do with it, Benny. He did mention, though, that the car is very tight going into the corners. They're suggesting going down on air pressure all the way around on their first stop. Bush, then turn one, let the car drift up right next to the outside retaining wall, and to the corner you go. Dave? With Mike McLaughlin now released from the infield care center, are you okay? And we're trying to dissect it a little bit. Did you have any trouble coming off turn two? No, no, I, uh, a little bit tight in the center, but I had a good, where I might have lost a little speed, but I had a good run up off the corner to where, uh, never thought I'd be turned around. I didn't see it, so I don't know what happened, but uh, I was definitely in the throttle there. But, uh, you know, this group of Team Marines, the uh, Marine mentality, they'll keep digging. And, uh, oh, man, oh, man. All the Marines uh, doing a heck of a job out there, and uh, we pray for your safety. And for all the families who lost loved ones, uh, we're with you. Sorry, Mike, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but we had something involving Kyle Busch, and that just might give this championship to Martin Truex. I believe you're right, DP. Talking about... We heard the Justin Labonte instructions that his dad Terry gave him. You get inside by side of that corner with someone, you got to give way. Kyle Busch had a run on Ron Hornaday going into that corner, but not enough that Hornaday thought he had to give way, and it just kind of... All fell apart from there. It looked like Hornaday got loose getting in the corner and, and finally just had to slow down so much to get the car under control that Kyle Busch ran in the back of him. So we can see what happened. Well, here we see the, going down into turn one, Kyle Busch tries to get underneath Hornaday, but I don't think he was far enough up there. Oh, I see the contact there. Hornaday to give it to him. And then Hornaday was just busy saving the race car and... Bush ran into him. And, and, Truex, really and Truex somehow misses the wreck, gets by. On the left down onto the apron. But so. heavy, it looked like heavy damage to the 60 car. Once again, the straightaway, we see Kyle Bush. He's got a run, but as Wally said, he's not far enough along to go ahead and take the corner. He goes in and makes contact with Hornaday, gets him sideways. as well. There's a lot of damage in the front of his car. It's a good save by Hornaday. And Bibble also makes a pretty good contact with the outside of the And this from Kyle Bush's view. You see, you really got to be at the guy's door for him to give you the corner. And Kyle did not have enough race car up on Hornaday's door. Oh, I see Hornaday was busy. Obviously, a lot of front-end damage. Lance McGrew, the crew chief, said, let's take the time. Let's get it right. They want to fix the bottom part of this grill where the air goes in. Underneath the black tape, that's what they really want to fix. Taking on four tires right now. There's also right rear damage as well. Dave? With Greg Biffle now, Marty and Greg. Sometimes at Darlington, there's just not enough room early on, is there? Oh, no, it's not not enough room. Uh, everybody's doing good, but uh, Ron Hornaday, I mean... That's it in a nutshell. I mean, that's why he doesn't going to race for Richard Childress anymore. And the guy's got zero talent, zero ability. And uh, wouldn't let the five. The five had to run on him two or three times down the front stretch. And uh, five kind of got into him because he ran the five down on the apron and brake checked him right in the middle of the corner and wrecked us all. And just that just takes absolutely zero class to do that. Brake check a guy right in the middle of the corner and wrecked us all. Uh, 
NASCAR does something about it. That's just ridiculous. Your car done for the day, Greg? Oh, yeah, we're done. I mean, just slam me against the belts, you know, and jerk my neck off. About jerk my neck off. Wasn't expecting it. Um, I just I just hope they do something. I hope they penalize him or park him for the last race of the season because stuff like that can't be tolerated when we're all out there. We're all professional, and that is just – that's not even close to being a race car driver, that kind of, that kind of stuff on the racetrack. I, I don't understand. Thanks, Greg. Alan? And, and, you know, maybe he did break check him. Now that we think about it, he says that. It does look like – Yeah, well, when, he's obviously waving out the window. He was mad. Yeah. And from that angle, we didn't see that earlier. So it, it, it could be that he just – you know, he was mad enough at Kyle that he did do something like that. Both Hornaday and Kyle Busch have been on pit road for damage repair. Here's yeah. a look. If you watch right when after Hornaday saves the car, it almost looks like he turns or the car goes right up the racetrack. Watch, these guys go up to the right. He's already saved the car here. Now all of a sudden the car goes up to the right and slows down. So that's, I think, what Greg Biffle was, yeah. was talking about right there. So... I mean, it, brake checking, coming on and a caution flag at 45 miles per hour is one thing. But at this speed, yeah, that's not a very safe thing. Not a very safe move, if, if that's what he did. And I, again, Biffle is saying he did. It, it looks like he could have. One thing about this place is if it was anywhere else, I'd say maybe he did. But this place is so slippery, and you're you're always trying to save the race car. You, you don't know if, if uh, Hornet was still trying to save the car or what. It's a tough, tough call. So caution is out. Kyle Busch trying to keep his championship alive. Damaged in a wreck while Martin Truex Jr. finds a way through the melee. Let's see, from that angle, it did look like he drove up the racetrack. Fourth Who caution knows? flag is out already here at Darlington. 